What's going on everybody? This badass weapon here is the Bone Scythe, crafted from the Covetous Demon Soul. It's a really freaking cool looking weapon. <laughs> One of the coolest looking weapons in the game. I wish that every weapon had this much time and uh, creativity put into designing it, but this is one of the few. Unfortunately, I mean, it does a decent amount of damage. It's a relatively early game weapon uh, by comparison to some of the other weapons, and it's got a very interesting move set, actually. Uh, but before we do that, let's take a look at the stats and the lore. Base level only 112 damage, but at plus five, it goes up to 280 physical damage and B strength scaling. It has relatively high strength requirements unless you're going for a pure strength build. So this is not something that you're just going to be able to use right away unless you're doing a strength build, most likely. The lore. Scythe forged from the soul of the covetous demon. The curved spine of the covetous demon is as hard as rock. And rather than slicing through flesh, this weapon seems to grind it apart. That thing that ended up um, as a monstrous fiend. What was it to begin with? And why did it never leave the queen? Perhaps it was entranced by some perversion of love. Very creepy description there. So let's take a look at the move sets. Uh, One-handed, overhand, and then kind of a rake backwards attack. Now, the interesting about thing about this, that, the reason why I don't think this is a great weapon, is look at where my feet are and where they move to as I attack. You barely step forward at all as you attack with this. I just did six attacks there and I barely moved forward. Most weapons, you take quite large steps forward when you attack. In this one, you barely move at all with a basic attack. So I feel like it's going to be really hard to use this in PvP when people are constantly rolling away and keeping you just at that perfect distance because you're not going to be able to get a good chain of attacks going on because you're not stepping forward enough to really follow up with a couple more attacks. Uh, the strong attack, a big rake back, and then a right to left slash. Uh, the step back attack, actually not bad. Uh, it, <laughs> unlike the other attacks, it takes a couple steps forward to attack. Um, so same thing with the sprinting. Uh, pretty similar to the halberd sprint attack and step back attack. Rolling attack. Very similar to the halberd as well, even though this is a scythe. Now let's take a look at the two-handed attacks. Same thing, and very fast two-handed attack. Is that actually faster? This is, let's find out, all right. So that's the two-handed basic attack. Now let's take a look at the one-handed basic attack. Yeah, the two-handed is faster. That's really strange, huh? Well, I guess I'll be using this two-handed. Well, I have to use it two-handed because I don't have the strength to use it one-handed. Um, so the strong attack. The step back attack. The one-handed and two-handed attacks on this are actually very similar. And then the sprinting attack, same as the step back. And the roll attack. They're all incredibly similar, actually. Um, so I will be using this two-handed in this PvP invasion. In this... <laughs> fail invasion. I'm just gonna tell you right now, probably every single boss weapon in this is going to be a fail invasion just because I can't level all these weapons up. Costs too many petrified dragon bone. Anyway, so let's try to go kill somebody. Alrighty. Ira Ultrix. Uh, so I did not imbue any extra powers or anything into the bone scythe. Um, so, just using my flame weapon, hopefully get a little bit more damage with that. And then I'm going to be two-handing this, because I actually don't have the strength. Oh, where is this guy? Because um, I actually don't have the strength to one-hand the Bone Scythe. So, hopefully I can catch him just in a prolonged block. And uh, just drain the hell out of his stamina. As long as this guy's not a friggin' caster, I should hopefully be able to do a little bit of damage. 
I mean, these weapons, when they're not upgraded, are just so pathetic. But, oh, he just used Chameleon, I presume. Where is this guy? Or he used some sort of spell. I assume it was Chameleon, because that's the sound I make when I use Chameleon. And I'm a chameleon -air. Uh Let's see. What the hell? That's a weird spot. All right, so I bet he's upstairs. A lot of people like to hide upstairs. There's a lot of boxes and stuff in this room as well. Um, door has been opened, not broken. Is he a barrel or a box? Yep, I was right. Oh, and that hit me. Oh, and then my fire goes out. Oh my god, that does no damage! I'm so dead. Oh god. Oh my god, I'm doing like 100 damage. This is so pathetic. Alright. Ooh. Maybe I'll do a little bit more. Oh, Jesus, I'm so boned. Oh, come on. I'm dead. Maybe I can stun lock him? Oh my god. Holy shit, that actually did a good amount of damage. You can really stun lock people with this thing. Uh, well, second opinion on this weapon is that... If you can stun lock him. Oh, it drags him towards me! Holy shit! I just realized something. So I was complaining about this the fact that this thing doesn't step forward when you go at people. Uh, but it pulls them towards you, so it doesn't matter. Oh shit. I'm gonna try it another invasion with this weapon. And see if I can pull something off. Maybe this weapon's better than I realized. Hmm. Yeah, maybe two-handing this thing isn't so bad because you can just chop 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 away at them let's uh huh okay okay i'm intrigued i don't think i have any souls nope okay new invasion all right so another invasion relevant pit uh do i got the right stuff okay i got the stone ring got the ring of blades um and basically, what I'm gonna try to do is just stun lock the hell out of this guy, because I found out in that last whoa shit in that last failed invasion that uh, I can actually drag people towards me. And now I'm gonna find out if uh, this actually attacks over shields, which I'm not sure if it does, but I do know that it drags them towards me. So let's find out. Why am I attacking that direction? God damn it. Oh, this is a shitty spot to attack. All these walls right next to me. I hate this. Yeah, I just... Oh, that hit me through the wall! You bastard. Oh my god, I thought I was gonna roll off the map there. That hit me... Oh, you fucking bastard. Oh, and I hit the fucking pillar. Okay. Whoa, I'm doing decent damage with this thing. Holy fuck, my opinion on this weapon has completely changed. Oh. I can just stun lock the bejesus out of people, and because I have so much stamina, I can just attack for days. He's not doing dick for damage either. Oh, dang it. Oh, you fucking cheating prick. I guess I did invade his world. Come on, stun lock. Oh, I didn't even hit him on that. Get him. Oh. oh, I'm out of fire. I'm dead. Yep. Okay, well, okay, my opinion on this weapon has changed. This, uh, okay. I might actually eventually upgrade this thing to plus five and see if it's viable in PvP. Um, so, it's a decent weapon. I was doing decent damage at a base level. So, anyway, thanks for watching and uh, game on.